the other animals humans eat, use in science, hunt, trap, and exploit in a variety of other ways, have a life of their own that is of importance to them apart from their utility to us. They are not only in the world, they are aware of it and also of what happens to them. And what happens to them matters to them. Each has a life that fares experientially better or worse for the one whose life it is. Like us, they are some bodies, not some things. In these fundamental ways, the non-human animals in labs and on farms, for example, are the same as human beings. And so it is that the ethics of our dealings with them and with one another must rest on some of the same fundamental moral principles. And any argument that plausibly explains the right of humans to be treated with respect also implies that these other animals have this same right and have it equally also. Will the objection be that we are saying that every human and every animal has the same rights, that chickens should have the right to vote, and pigs the right to ballet lessons? But of course we are not saying this. All we are saying is that these animals and humans share one basic moral right. The philosophy of animal rights is on the side of reason. For it is not rational to discriminate arbitrarily. And discrimination against non-human animals is demonstrably arbitrary. It is wrong to treat weaker human beings, especially those who are lacking in normal human intelligence as tools or models, for example. Questions about line drawing to one side, it is obvious that the animals used in laboratories, raised for food, and hunted for pleasure or trapped for profit, for example, are our psychological kin. This is not fantasy. This is fact supported by our best science. The philosophy of animal rights stands for, not against, justice. We are not to violate the rights of the few so that the many might benefit. What we are saying is that, like humans, many other animals have an experiential welfare of their own. In this sense, we and they are the same. In this sense, therefore, despite our many differences, we and they are equal. People face is not between either helping humans or helping other animals. One can do both. We should do both. This philosophy, therefore, is a philosophy of peace, but it is a philosophy that extends the demand for peace beyond the boundaries of our species. To stand truly for peace is to stand firmly against their ruthless exploitation.